Hello. Hi, guys. Sorry for the um, scheduling confusion a little bit ago, but I'm here now. Welcome to our Tuesday night live stream. Well, my Tuesday night live stream. So I'm the one hanging out. Hope everybody's doing okay. I am a little tired wearing my brand new This Is My Bourbon Drinking shirt, um, which I just got in. A couple days ago, I was hoping that I would have that for Bourbon and Beyond as well as an actual, um, uh, this is my Bourbon podcast shirt, but it unfortunately did not come in in enough time, and uh, here I am. So, I'm going to let folks get into the stream here. Readjust the camera a little bit, maybe so you can't see too much of the crap in my in my office. Uh, where is everybody? What are you guys doing? Get in here. Who's here? Anybody? No? One person? Two people, maybe? I can't see like I'd, I used to be able to on Instagram who's who's here. So, you know, say hello if you are present and accounted for. Um, also, hey, Big Feets, welcome. Always good to see you, my friend. I am very happy that you have join me tonight. Hope everybody can hear me okay, too. Um, <clears throat> let me know if not, <clears throat> and I will adjust accordingly. Um, hope everybody had a solid Tuesday. Had a very exhausting one. Got up. Um, hey, Brian, welcome. Happy you're here, man. Um, got up early to go work out to go to work, and then went uh, house hunting for our very first house my wife and I did, and so I'm just a little tuckered out, but that's okay, because now it's time to drink bourbon, which I am super excited for. So, uh, as you guys can probably tell by the title of this episode, this live stream episode, we're going to be talking about what to do now that our beloved Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond is no more. And I kind of alluded to this a little bit last week and might wind up doing a full podcast episode on it as well, but I figured that we would kind of touch on it a little bit tonight and talk about some alternatives uh, to our, our budget, our value bourbon that was so beloved and now is, is gone. So I wanted to start out with its little brother, the Heaven Hill Six Year Green Label, uh, 90 proof instead of 100, and not bottle and bond, of course, but um, still a great value, I thought, uh, and think it's just not as high proof, of course, and uh, unfortunately... It's, you know, some people some people like it uh, more than um, Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, which is all good by you, of course. That means that you have something that you can look forward to and actually replace uh, our our beloved our beloved bottle with. Um, but now we're going to talk a little bit about where to go from here, and I think that's you know going to be kind of the theme of the episode is where do we go from here. Um, you know, when something like this happens, when we can't uh, get what we what we normally drink and all that good stuff. So this is my first pour of the day, of course, so I am not warmed up palate-wise by any means. So I don't know what just happened. It's very good. I mean, honestly. It is a very good pour. It's got just about everything that... Um... Oh, Dustin's here. Okay, hi, Dustin. Dustin said he can't comment on YouTube for some reason, but it's all good. Welcome in. Um, you know, it, it's got everything that I really do like about the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond and did like about the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, but unfortunately it's just... You know, I don't think that it has quite the punch or the amount of flavor that hey jason welcome man um cheers to you as well my friend 
Jason is an awesome hit drums for sure. Anyway, unfortunately, the six year green label just doesn't quite pack the punch that I thought the 100 proof bottle and bond. I don't know why I say 100 proof when I say bottle and bond because it's kind of redundant. Doesn't make any sense, does it? No. <laughs> I think the finish for me is um, kind of the weak point on the Heaven Hill six year. It's it just doesn't carry over all of the flavors that I I like that are on the palate. And there's a really nice kind of sweet, almost floral note, kind of rosy on the palate that I'm just now picking up. But it's yeah, it's good. I I will be happy that this is still around. And the good thing about this bottle too is that it was until recently only available in Kentucky, but now is starting to make its way, from what I understand, starting to make its way outside of uh, the Commonwealth and across state lines. So this is going to, of course, be more readily available than your Heaven Hill Bottom Bond was before it was discontinued. And I think the best place to find it right now is probably still Kentucky, but... Um, you know, it it's it's out there. It's available. And I hope that they don't get rid of this one as well, because it just goes to show that, you know, Heaven Hill could be very well out of touch with the market. And I think that this if, if they wind up doing something like this, continuing this bottle, that would be a good indication that they don't quite have their heads on straight. But it's it's possible. Um Big Feats 101 is going to actually be one that I talk about in a little bit as well. Because, I mean, how could I, how could I not? How could I not? Kentucky 101, man. Good stuff. Good stuff right there, man. Um, so the other avenue, too, is... It, I mean, I, I still think that Heaven Hill has a good kind of corner on the market. Sorry. Um, a, a good little corner on the market with some of their budget or, or value brands. And I think that one of them, of course, is Elijah Craig, just the regular, regular old small batch. And um, I uncorked the B518... Uh, barrel proof release last week and of course loved it thought it was phenomenal and but i still i still think that this is a really solid everyday drinker i've said multiple times that i think this is kind of what bourbon should taste like hey philip welcome in man glad you're here uh philip is a good friend of mine um also from lexington he lives in lexington and uh, he let me try some of his um, turkey eight year and turkey thirteen year over from uh, Japan. It was a Japan. It was a, an export only uh, couple of releases. Very good, very good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man, I love the nose on Elijah Craig. It's got this really warm, like buttery, and baked goods nose to it that i just oh matt leonard welcome in my friend i uh, matt leonard as well is a wonderful person and a good friend he uh was on an episode of the show gosh probably about a dozen episodes ago we're uh getting so close to episode 50 so well, maybe we'll talk a little bit yeah man maybe we'll talk a little bit about that tonight too Because I want to, I want to talk a little bit about what that episode's going to entail. Oh, it's weird. I'm getting a little bit more corn on the on the palate this time than I normally do with the Elijah Craig, but still overall a very well rounded, solid bourbon that you know you can get it for. And the other thing I, I forgot to mention too, one of the things that of course is going to make value brands value brands is that they are around twenty five dollars or less. Heaven Hill Green Label is like thirteen dollars. So it's in that same price range that Heaven Hill Bottle and a Bond was before it got discontinued. Elijah Craig is going to be in the $22 to $24 price range. 
And so I still consider that to be a pretty good budget or value bourbon. It's just not on the same level of value that the Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond was. And that's, you know, all well and good. But I, I, I think that this is definitely, I think that's definitely up there for sure. There's this amazing, like, buttercream note, too, towards the middle and back end of the palette that's kind of complemented by, like, a coffee flavor, too, that I've really not picked up that much on Elijah Craig Small Batch before, but it is exquisite. It's very good. What am I drinking? I'm drinking Elijah Craig Small Batch, Monica. Yeah, good stuff. What is everybody else drinking? We we got a we got ten people in here right now. Always want to have more in, of course. But what are you guys drinking on? It's Tuesday night. You know, it's not quite the middle of the week, but it's been a long long week so far. My dad's here, of course. He's hanging out with us too. Um, this is some of the hey Adam, uh, E. H. Taylor single barrel, very nice. This is one of the most interesting experiences I think I've ever had with Elijah Craig small batch. Turkey 101, Elijah Craig, not small batch. <laughs> barrel proof then, I'm guessing. Or a single barrel. Maybe you're having an Elijah Craig single barrel. Picks are pretty good. Distiller's cut, very nice. Very nice, excuse me. Now I'm kind of wanting to drink uh, EC. Go for it, Jason. Go for it, man. If you got it, drink it. That's not a saying. Whatever. Yeah, I'm really discovering a lot of things on this palette that I've never noticed before, and I don't know what, I don't know what's, oh man. Hey, Joseph. Welcome in. Joseph, one of our newest patrons over at patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. Um, <laughs> Beam Repeal Batch, Matt Leonard. Beam Repeal Batch is unbelievable. I think it is an incredible bottle for the price. Even at the proof point, I think that it's really, really good. You know, 86 proof. I, I cannot believe that it's as good as it is. Um, Jeremy Wilson, welcome in, my friend. Brian said, water at the moment, it's 85 in Florida. Jeez, man. Uh, I got up to like 78 today, I think. Maybe close to, to 80. Um, but yeah, I, Jason, I will definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, drinking scotch tonight. All good, man. All good, man. Um. Dad, you might want to check the check the date on that. Um, uh, Dustin's drinking the Jim Beam repeal batch as well. <laughs> He's not saying on here. Uh, Joseph is drinking C nine seventeen. Um, yeah, I'm also excited for that review from from Jason. So, hello, Dilly Esquire. Interesting. Um, That's all good. Um, this is definitely up there for my budget or value bourbons. I think that at twenty two to twenty four dollars, it is a very good. It's a very good product, and you would be hard pressed to find things that are as good or better in this price range. I think that, um, and you know, I'm going to talk a little bit too about some things that I didn't wind up pulling uh to talk talk about during this one of those buffalo trace buffalo trace is in the um wow really never dips below 30 dollars there wow that stinks yeah man it's uh <laughs> sorry man um Buffalo Trace, anyway, is another one, too, that I would kind of lump in, but unfortunately don't have one that's not a single barrel right now. Um, but it's in the same kind of price range. It's about $25 to $26. Um, very good bottle, of course, in that same kind of budget range. Um, Pressman, hey, buddy. Welcome in. 
Monica, you passed on repeal batch and now you need to go back. Yes, you do need to go back. It is very good. It is at least I've had recently. So mm. hydrate, folks. Hydrate. So to kind of keep with the theme too of Elijah Craig products. And it's, or excuse me, with Heaven Hill products, it's it's funny because this is the second week in a row that I've really done a Heaven Hill centric episode, and it was kind of inadvertent. But this week, I like I realized that I didn't talk enough about. I use regular Elijah Craig to proof down my barrel proofs. Whoa, interesting. I might have to mess with that a little bit. I would be interested to see what kind of products I get out of that. But anyway, I, I kind of realized this week that I didn't talk enough last week about why I like Heaven Hill as a budget bourbon and some of their, you know, so, some of their offerings. And, you know, one of the things, too, that I think budget bourbons are kind of lacking are weeders. And there aren't, you know, Weller's harder to find. And if it were more readily available, that would definitely be at the top of my list. Makers, I'm not a huge fan of. It's just, you know, not quite my palate, of course. But, you know, Larceny is, though. And I, th I think that Larceny is an incredible budget bourbon, especially at, again... 22 to $24. I mean, it's cheaper than Maker's Mark. It's a higher proof than Maker's Mark. I mean, I just, I, I have such a hard time buying any other, uh, you mean Rebel Yell? Um, just regular Rebel Yell, I'm not a big as big of a fan of. Um, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I think that Luxro has some really great stuff out. Um, but I think that honestly, just the, the general offering of rebel yell is just not that great. Uh, I, I mean, quite honestly, but I do really like the 10 year rebel yell. I think that's incredible. It's a great bourbon. Absolutely. Uh, is Larceny going to be your birthday present this year, dad? Potentially. <laughs> Um, seriously mind blown over the last live cast blends. Um, you talking about the, um, the, the one that I did between Elijah Craig and, and Larceny? Cause I'm actually going to be doing like a full bottle, blend, not a full bottle, but you know, more of a blend of that and kind of letting it sit for a little while. Cause I think that it would be a great, uh, a, a great thing once it's actually mingled for a while. Uh, is J.W. Dant a good bottle and bond budget bourbon? Recently spotted it. Yes. Uh, it is. I'm not sure if it's Kentucky only, but I think that it is a very good budget bourbon. And actually, I have it in my lineup. I don't know for sure if I'm going to get to it or not. I'm on a bit of a tighter schedule, unfortunately, this week. Um, but there is the potential for me to make up for it later on in the week. Um Dad's going to go watch the Cubs. Go watch the Cubs, buddy. Love you, too. Enjoy yourself. And here's the dad. Have some larceny. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I think that the, the Heaven Hill Bottom and Bonds are all really good budgeters as well. Um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, I might I might wind up getting larceny for dad for his birthday. I mean, now that he's not on here anymore. Um it's coming up next month, so maybe we'll have a little. Uh, it'd be really funny to do it like a birthday episode for Dad and kind of mess with him a little bit. But I actually do have um, a couple more um, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bonds, um, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond products that are in this lineup that I'm going to be talking about tonight. Um, but that's that's a that's dependent on whether or not we get there. Uh, let's see, so cheap, cheap date for a. Day. <laughs> oh, Big Feets is back. Welcome back, Big Feets. Chris. I'm still going to call you Big Feets. Whatever. Chris. Hey, Chris. It's my Aussie friend. Ozzy from the land of Oz. The merry old land of Oz. Um, Chris is uh, 
a wonderful guy who comes over to uh, America every year with uh, his lovely partner, um, Leanne, or Lilith, however she prefers it, and um, having a good time hanging out. Um, Jason said, got my mom drinking larceny. She loves it. Something with larceny and parents, apparently so. <laughs> uh, it's cool. Jason, love your mom. I... Uh, Joseph, he's actually um, still in the uh, still in the states right now. Chris and Lil are still in the states right now. I always call Leanne Lil. I never call her Leanne. I don't know why, but that's just me. Whoa, where'd everybody go? We lost some folks. Everybody still here? What's happening? Come back, guys. Is it me? Is it on my end? We're we losing people because of me. Um. Anyway. Okay. Great. Awesome. Hey, Scott's here from uh, my bourbon journey. Awesome. This is us. Is on. <laughs> okay. Good deal. I just want to make sure everybody was still here. I saw the numbers drop a, like rapidly all of a sudden. I just want to make sure that everything was okay. Um, yes, Brian. Awesome. Good. Oh, oh, Monica. It makes my heart melt. Thank you for being here for that instead. Okay, so let's try to get a little bit outside and I'm going to wind up coming back to, you know what, actually we're on the Heaven Hill side of things. So I made as well. Um, did I say a bad word? <laughs> I didn't say a bad word, did I? Um, this is us. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, did I say a bad word like to make everybody leave? I don't know. Maybe I did. Could be. So I guess I'll finish out my last Heaven Hill pour. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm here and I may as well stick with the same distillery. Um, but I, I, I haven't had this in a long time. And actually, the last time I think I had this, I think I got sick on. Um, but this is Heaven Williams Bottled and Bond, which is, again, another Heaven Hill product. Um, Chris said the Aussies are in Jack Rose in D.C. drinking OWA. You, man, so jelly. Um, have I loaded up on the six-year of Bottled and Bond? I have a few in reserve, but, yeah, it's, man... I, I got in on it early and got kind of lucky um, holding out. But yeah. Um, so anyway, I haven't had the Evan Williams bottled and bond in a while. But here's the thing. I think that this could be a really good alternative to the Heaven Hill bottled and bond. It's just that it's, you know, I, I don't remember being as fond of it. But I think it still has that potential. I think it still has the potential for it. So I'm willing to revisit it and, you know, make sure that I'm not going crazy. This is a really solid nose. Hmm. This is a fresh crack, by the way. I just bought this today. Um, again, I haven't had it in a while. So I, you know, I wanted to revisit it for the sake of this episode. Um, yeah, it's a live unscrewing and it's now there. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. And can you get it? Yeah, you can probably get it because it's pretty, it, it's pretty, <laughs> uh, widely available. Um, isn't Evan Williams the same juice? Yes. Just older. Be very close. Really hope you say you are. Yeah. Um, love and Evan Williams Bald and Bond. I agree. Same proof. Close in flavor. Has that nuttiness a bit. Oh, nutty. Um, <laughs> live on screen. Yes, saw that. You should have someone pour both, both and see which you prefer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to. Um, but I will say that on the first episode of the podcast, we did a. Um, blind budget bourbon battle where it was very old Barton bottled and bond 
blind bottle and bond budget bourbon valley uh, budget bourbon ba battle I, <laughs> I don't play by the same rules that chad and sarah do so if i say if i say nutty it doesn't count in the same way that uh it does with with chad um but you know um <laughs> hi chris yes um blah, 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 blah. um Betty Bonner bought some butter. I said that one quickly. Um, hi, hi, Chris. I see you. Uh, any particular willet we should have for you tonight? Uh, if you have anything older, th if there's an, anything older than a 10 year there, have some for me tonight. Because I bet that's going to be real nutty and good. Um, yeah. <laughs> it does if you drink. <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? If I, if you, if I have to be lumped in with, um, with Chad in that, in that drinking game, sure. Why not? Why not? Um, yeah, have some of that 27 in your will it too. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm ready to have a, a pour of this, a sip of this rather. Hmm. It's very different than I remember. I will say that much. It's certainly in that realm of Heaven Hill bottom and bond flavor but i think it has a little bit more heat to it than the heaven hill bottom and bond is i think that this is well i'm i'm not going to i'm not going to say just yet i want to have another sip hair fix you know what i'll do okay here's here's the this is my bourbon podcast live stream drinking game every time i fix my hair while i'm looking in the camera or in the screen then you drink that's a <laughs> that's a bad habit of mine and a good way to uh, get yourself drunk if you're watching this show. Yeah. You know, I, I like heat, too, but I don't like for it to overpower the palate. Um, <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> yes, you would. Be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> I'm just imagining now this sea of people <laughs> watch me go. And then everybody is just, it's just wasted. Just, I think that would be hysterical. So, okay. So the first, yeah, drink. Um, so the first rule of the, this is my bourbon podcast drinking game is if I fix my hair, then you have to take a drink. Let's see what else. If I, I don't know, I'm going to set forth these rules because I think that there is something to be said by this. But anyway, I had to learn to drink wine. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are in a good mood tonight. I'm in a good mood, mood tonight as well. So, Hey, this is good stuff. This is a really solid pour. I will say... I am perfectly happy happy having this as kind of a replacement. Um, maybe not immediately. I think I kind of need to warm myself up to it a little bit. But I think that it is in the realm of being a replacement in terms of budget bourbons for the Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. And the reason I keep... So, um... <laughs> have to tell you during the podcast. Okay, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I got this figured out. So either this week or next, I'll put out a bonus episode on Friday and it will be the, it'll outline what the drinking game rules are for these live streams. So that way <laughs> we've set the rules. I'll post it on social media too. So everybody can see it, but that would be awesome. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Thank you, Joseph. Yeah. Sorry. I'm making you drink a lot. Uh, is there a certain, Plastic bottle, 1.75 BIB, also made by Heaven Hill that not many know about, that you think would make a wonderful replacement for Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. Yes, T.W. Samuels. I think that that would be a perfect replacement for it. And honestly, maybe the one that I would suggest as a replacement. But unfortunately, I don't have any of it right now. You can apparently find 750s of it, too, 
but I have only ever seen it for uh, 1.75 bottles or handles or whatever. Um, that one is just makes me happy. It's a great bourbon. Oh, it's a great bourbon for that price. Am I out of glasses? I am. Okay. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with two more and then I'm going to have to hop off because my wife is making dinner. I know that it's 930 on the East Coast, but we were house hunting earlier today, as I said, and we did not get home until late. And so she's making dinner right now. So uh, your Evan Williams bottled and bond is almost gone. Go get you some more. Have you guys noticed how self-conscious I am of uh, whether or not I am fixing my hair? <laughs> not that I've brought it up. Um, mention the wife equals drink. Okay, yes, there we go. Um, yes, we will be moving to Lexington. Um, that's that's the plan, at least, Philip. Um, I don't want to get I don't want to get too much into it, but yeah, we're gonna be. Um, and I will, yeah, Monica, I will be getting a podcast room, whether or not it's the basement. Or, you know, a, a, you know, a little bonus room or whatever in the house. But yeah, we are actively looking for a place in Lexington. And so um, the, the, we will officially be back. Um, <laughs> we'll officially be back uh, where we, where we grew up. So the other one that I wanted to talk about too, as a good value bourbon is of course another bottled and bond. I don't know how available this is. I will say that much, but it's very old Barton bottled and bond. Um, Joseph said, okay, about Booker, should I get the backyard, bar backyard barbecue or wait for the Kentucky Chew? Man, I gotta be really honest with you. I like them both. I think they're both very good bourbons. I have really liked the Kentucky Chew better uh, since I... Got a bottle of it. I think it's incredible. So my recommendation is the Kentucky Chew, but the Backyard Barbecue is still very good. So Whiskey Cellar would be awesome. I would love that. You heard it so-so, Monica. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it's it's great. I did a uh, I did a review of it a few weeks ago, actually, um, on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, so my live... I did a live stream review of it. So uh, go back and check that out too. Um, you are very welcome, my friend. Always have a VOB BIB on hand. Fairly easy to find in Lexington. Yeah, it, it's, it seems to be really easy to find in Lexington, but I don't know like outside of Lexington what the, or outside of Kentucky really, how easy it is to find. Yeah, I think you really should, Monica. I, I, I really do like the Kentucky Chew. I think it's a fantastic bourbon. So I normally get with the very old Barton bottled and bond. Um, Matt said it's Kentucky only. Kentucky only, if I remember correctly. Sorry, lost you for a few minutes. Mobile data sucks over here. Sorry, Chris. Almost no selection in PA. John, welcome into the chat, by the way. Um, name alone is awesome. Yeah, I love the name of it. Um, wife's texting me dinner's ready. Okay. So I am going to have to talk real quick about this VOB bottle and bond, and then I'm going to have to hop off because dinner's ready. I find it troubling that so many good bourbons fall into the hands of people who don't need it. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. It's a good ass assertion. This is a really great, solid value bourbon. I think this is awesome. And if I had to put it between two in terms of value and proof, it would definitely be the Evan Williams Bottled and Bond and the uh, <laughs> Fairdale Barton Bottled and Bond. Um, but I, I think that, you know, again, this was a fresh crack Two, this was a live uncracking, as Joseph would say. So I haven't given it a lot of time to 
aerate or anything, but I think that it is a really solid bottom and bond. It's just not as good, I think, as the Evan Williams bottom and bond. I like of probably a couple other uh, bottom and bonds too, um, so that I can, you know, really figure out what it is that I, I like. Um, does that include what we brought over for Chad and Sarah? No, I don't think so. Um, what's for dinner? My wife made a uh, Moroccan chicken. Um, I'm of Moroccan descent. So she figured, well, you should try the food of your people, which I have never done before. My, uh, my dad was adopted. So I don't know, you know, too much about my, my heritage or my culture, other than the fact that most of my family's from Kentucky, um, or upstate New York. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, I get irritated seeing pictures of five plus bottles of something being stashed. Drink it. They'll make more. Unless it's Heaven Hill bottled and bond. Um, does filling with the beer count? <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. So beard, hair, wife mention. Um, I'm going to throw Chad and Sarah in too. So anything to do with Heaven, with it, um, um, I, uh, it's Bourbon Night. It's going to be on there as well. Um, you have a case of Henry McKenna 10 stash because it's the next Heaven Hill. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Everybody drink. So unfortunately, this is going to have to be a, uh, a shorter episode than normal because Lucy has dinner ready for me. Um, so I am going to promise you guys one thing. Later on this week, I will have a podcast as well. Um, I will have another live stream or a bonus episode or something for you guys, um, either here or on uh, Instagram. I will let you know, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, um, we have a new episode coming out tomorrow. Be sure to check that out. Um, at my bourbon pod on on uh, social media, uh, patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast if you want to become a patron of the show. Some of you guys are in here. I really appreciate you all uh, hanging out with me tonight, of course. Um, let's see what else. Bourbonshop.threadless.com. If you want to find shirts like this one, this is my bourbon drinking shirt. As you can tell, I am drinking bourbon and wearing this shirt. Um, rate and review on iTunes, of course, all that good stuff. Subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or shared it or liked this video, please do all of those things because that really, really helps me out. Once we get to um, 100 subscribers, we're going to be doing a, a giveaway, and I will let you know more details about that here soon um, over on social media. Probably on Thursday, I'm going to let you know uh, the, the details for that. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate you all so much. I will see you tomorrow on the podcast, next week on the live stream. But until then, I'm Perry, and this is my bur bourbon... the the the. <laughs> I'm Perry, and this is my bourbon podcast live stream. Bye, guys.